Alright, here is some draw the graph de detail like what I always mention. First thing you have to make sure when you draw the straight line over here, uh, the straight line is always touch the vertical axis. This is what I ask my students do all the time. Make sure you always touch because some students when they draw the line, maybe the line look like this. And then when you want to get a C value, you realize you hardly get the C value on your vertical axis. So then only you connect. So normally I will ask my student whenever you draw the line, make sure you touch the vertical exit okay the second thing is yeah because we need to find a gra gradient because the question asks you to find a gradient i mean find a gradient value from the graph so how to indicate actually you take the value from the graph so normally i will take any two point is on the line one don't take the point off the line huh? i will take any two point on the line then i will just draw a triangle to indicate that actually i take these two points to find my gradient only this one actually just show and then gradient definitely use back the gradient formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then you can easily get the uh get the mark and then and then last thing this is the this is the most common mistake so example Example, so let's say you have this coordinate. This coordinate, let's say, is 3, 4. Yeah, some students, they, when they sub into, let's say I have an equation. Uh, y equals to maybe k squared x plus 3. Okay, let's say you want to find k. And you have a coordinate 3, 4. Most common mistake for a student is they will sub the 3 into x and 4 into the y. They will do something like 3 square 4. And then this is k square root 3 plus 3, which is wrong. Why? Because the 3, 4 is no longer on the x, x axis and y axis. So therefore, if you have the coordinate on this diagram, this diagram you realize this coordinate is basically is square root x and this coordinate is x square y. Unless you have a diagram which is x and y and then you have a coordinate is 3, 4, then it makes sense. The 3 is x y is 4 but in linear law the coordinate inside the diagram is no longer x and y you very much you need to see what is your vertical axis and horizontal axis so it's no longer x and y so you cannot plug in the x and y like that so this one is wrong so the correct way is the whole thing equals to 4 equals to k square root x equals to 3 plus 3 then k equals to 1 over 3 Right, this is the example. Uh, this example, uh, some students might think, ah, how do I get the equation? I just randomly come up from my mind. All right, it's, you can't find the equation related to it. But then I just want to show you like how to take the value from the diagram. So you sh make sure you don't make this kind of common mistake. So I will say the coordinate itself will no longer is x and y anymore. So in this case, the coordinate itself is a square root x and x square y. All right.